This is Mitchell Zoller for Global Medical News Network. Cardiothoracic surgeon Roger Gopaldus reported on the use of endoscopic thoracic endovascular aneurysm repair, TVAR, and open repairs throughout the United States. What we demonstrated after looking at nationwide data for a two-year period of time that TVAR was performed in patients who are much older and were higher risk. And despite that, these patients had better outcomes in terms of lower complication rates, specifically neurologic, operative, and respiratory complications. And so what do you see as the implications of these findings for the use of TVAR right now? I think given the fact that um, in older patients, where isolated descending thoracic aneurysms has always been a problem in open surgical repair because a significant number of these patients do not go home, they end up in a rehab center, DVAR has sort of circumvented that problem. These patients tend to actually go home. So the, um, the decrease in complication rates and the fact that these patients can go home early is certainly a big plus. Mm -hmm. Now our study only addresses what's happening in hospital. It, one limitation is it does not tell what happens to the patients after they go home. Because some of these patients do need re-interventions, they develop endoleaks and such. And that problem is something you do not see in an open repair. And that's a criticism of the study. But at the same time, when patients have open repair, they end up going to a, uh, uh, to a nursing home. A significant, not, not everybody, but if they are older, a significant number of them do end up being in a nursing home or a rehab center. So you're having to deal with either a patient who's going to come back for a few times for repair of an endo leak or somebody who ends up in a nursing home. So there are two issues here to be looked into. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mitchell Zoller.